Well, hello there. You're watching Offbeat Business TV or listening to the OBBM Network podcast. My name is Susan Hamilton, and today we're going to learn a little bit about some things here in DFW that are getting the job done on the street. Welcome to Offbeat Business TV and the OBBM Network podcast. CEO and host Susan Hamilton shares vital insight from local DFW leaders on successful life and business. Focused squarely on local family business, it's time for our nation to rise and we'll do it through a vibrant local business sector that stands up for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Ready to meet your advocates? Here's your host. minutes over here at the Farmers Branch Chamber. So thank you so much for coming out to our Small Business Expo. Thanks for having me. It's a big deal. Now, but you got a background in radio. I, I do, yeah, <laughs> by accident, actually. <laughs> but yeah, you've got a great voice yeah, for it. Well, thank you. Yeah, by accident, uh, by uh, virtue of the fact that I thought it was the easiest $50 to do some sampling and a little bit of voiceover That's that I've fun. ever made in my entire life. But. Well, I'm talking with J.C. Beltran, Beltran Advisory Group, uh, BeltranAdvisoryGroup.com. Uh, one of the things that uh, J.C. is doing is teaching people the traction method and is so, so important. Uh, that's the... Uh, uh, that's the operating system, the entrepreneur operating system to help people make right. sense of things. So what's the one thing you would like people to know? As a matter of fact, if you are, uh, if you download the, uh, subscribe to the OBBM Network podcast, you're going to be able to get this interview that he just had on building the brand. Yep. So tell us a little bit about what you want people to know. Uh, what's, what's something quick that you can tell them that'll inspire them over Easter weekend? Yep, that's right. Susan. Thanks for having me, by the way. It's a great venue. Um, so the one thing that I would tell people is to ensure that they have some type of operating system in their business, meaning something tangible that they can pull levers or push levers to make things change. And there's so many great ideas out there. I wake up every morning with a ton of passion because of the spirit of the entrepreneur. And it breaks my heart when I see a fantastic idea or concept, but they just don't have a system that they can actually affect to create change. Oh, I'll tell you, we have are here. We're in that space. The OBBM network, the, all of those things. Right. What we've learned is you can have this great big idea, but it takes people to execute it, yep. and that means there's that that system's going to constantly grow and revise if you are w walking into your future. I don't think anybody gets to escape that, JC. No, OBBM is great because they focus on what matters, and what matters in terms of the heartbeat of America, the backbone of America in terms of business, commerce. We can't do anything without commerce. We just can't. It's not going to happen. No, it's not. And what a, as a matter of fact, we'll cease to exist. I mean, it's that critical. Correct. It's that critical. We've got this one moment. So one of the things that we're talking about today over here at our OBBM uh, corner is our First Amendment rights and how important it is to have them at such a time in business. I think one of the things that overwhelms uh, business owners a lot is where they stand on that and how to react to our current uh, space. But you know, it's valuable. Uh, did I just hear someone mention that you were a veteran? I am a veteran, absolutely. United States Marine Corps. Oh wow! Hoorah! Simplified all my <laughs> brothers and sisters out there. I don't know how I had, I'd forgotten that uh, from your interview. Surely you mentioned it. My daughter's a Marine. I have so much respect oh, for that. Yeah. Love it. So and it's huge the amount of discipline. You bring to the game. No wonder the traction method is so, uh, it comes so naturally to you. It's fun. It, it's, a, it's a passion that I've had ever since um, I was a young kid working with my uncles and my dad. Um, the, the thing that was challenging at that time was that, you know, they would, they would actually open up a new business about every four years. Not because the business ideas were poor or they couldn't execute, but because they didn't have an operating system. They didn't have something that they could point to to move the dial. And um, the Marine Corps 
um, laid a great foundation for me. It right-sized my mind, as I'd like to say. I love what you're saying there. One of the things I think is so important about that also is when you have the system and you have a problem, you can now blame the problem on the system before you blame it on the person. And I think for our relationships, that's such a valuable, valuable thing to know. That's a, that's a great segment into the thought that I had in my mind. You read it perfectly. Um, unless we know ourselves, then we can't lead ourselves. You need to find out who's sitting across the table from you, meaning you. Who are you? Yeah. And how do people perceive you? How do you come across? And what can you do to change to a direction that you want to go to? Wonderful, wonderful. So right now in our local area, voting is coming up in May, as early as May. How, what is one thing that you'd like all businesses to know when it comes to our First Amendment rights? Uh, and how we can make a, what's one thing we should know? What's one thing we should stand on and pay attention to as we are choosing our local elected officials and our councils and our school boards? Freedom to conduct the business the way that you want to conduct it. Freedom to make choices and not have someone make choices for you. You know, it takes a lot of sacrifice. It takes a lot of sweat equity um, to start a business, even to, even to execute on a dream and to have politicians make those choices for you is a very sacred thing. And so ensure that you're actively involved in local politics first and foremost. And that will ensure that at least you have a voice in where your business is headed. One thing I'm telling everyone to ask people about is when before you be, ask them, will you stand up for the United States Constitution and the Constitution of Texas? And will you refuse unconstitutional mandates? I want to know that they can say it. It's funny how often they will say, uh, and I'm like, in my guts, I'm like, yeah, that's the wrong answer. But we are limited as far as who we can choose from right now. But we've got this year because by February of next year, we can know that we've done our part to really pay attention. If you don't have time this month to, to make adjustments in your choices, we, we've only got what we've got. Well, we, we've got the people that are running right now. You're going to have to make choices based on that. But uh, we, then we've got this year to be ready for February and start making sure we're placing people that value the sanctity of the United States of America That's and correct. our local communities and our families, no That's doubt correct. about if it. If we don't make a choice, the choice will be made for us. We've heard that growing up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing as big people, as adults now, making our own choices and creating our own pathway. So you're absolutely right. So J.C. Beltran, Beltran Advisory Group. I'm excited to have you here. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you get out there and, and, and enjoy the pictures that are getting taken out here, shaking hands and getting excited about people that are really, one of the things that I love about Farmers Branch Chamber, by the way, are you a member yet? I'm not, no, oh I'm not. Oh my goodness, not. this is the first chamber to get out in the golf tournament uh, last year and the first chamber to get back out and support restaurants again and start meeting together. The first chamber that has really gone to our city council and represented us well. And I think that's really, really important. So if you haven't had a chance to go talk with Grace Peace over there, think about being a chamber member. I know it's Grace. affordable to be here and you'll meet the kind of people that are really going to move this community forward. And for me, that's really all I want to be associated with right now. I think if we, enough of us stand together like that, we'll bring everybody else who's a little timid and a little afraid. They'll start seeing action and move too. Yep, that's exactly right. No, nope, I will. I've seen Grace. I've shaken her hand. I will go hunt her down. <laughs> Get in on this. Thank you Wonderful. so much. Thank you, JC. Good to see you. Good to see you too.